Okay, in this tutorial, we will see how to use 3D animation toolbox of TwinSim to visualize dynamic behavior. A model of a mass connected to a fixed object through a spring damper will be used for this purpose. In this specific example, it can be seen uh, that the mass is hanging down from a ceiling with a spring damper and due to the weight of the system, a downward force is experienced and that is due to gravity and that is represented in 20 sim with the force actuator so what we expect is when the mass is released from a certain uh, initial position that um, it goes down to the weight due to the weight and then um, it vibrates a little bit according to the stiffness of the, the spring and then when the two forces balance then it settles to a certain position so once uh, we are done with the model we will go ahead and process it to see if there are any errors or warnings there are none at this point and then we go ahead and uh, simulate some variables in this case the position of the mass itself is the most interesting so we will choose the mass and then the position click ok and then uh, we run the simulation and yeah that's what we expect from uh, its initial position it goes down vibrates and then balances when the two forces balance now let's go ahead and open the 3d animation window 3d animation window okay this is how the 3d animation uh, window looks like so we will uh, what we do is we'll go ahead and add all the representations Okay, from the uh, with the properties window, you can add all your uh, model elements. So we'll first begin with the fixed object. For example, for that, I choose a cube. Here in the object properties window, you can change the size of the um, your object, and and also you can change the color. So you can make it suit your purpose like choose whatever color uh, is appropriate and you click ok on the left we can see uh, what it looks like so we can adjust it we can also add position because we want it uh, hanging down we want the mass to be hanging down from a fixed object okay the next one is the mass itself so we'll go ahead and choose a sphere for example Again, the object properties window opens. Uh, you can also change the size here. At the left, you can see how it changes. So uh, we will uh, save the size from in all directions, X, Y, Z. And also set or change the, the, the color of the mass. For example, to the color of your choice, we'll make it green. And then okay okay so in your uh, in the left of your window you can see what is happening so we have a fixed object and a mass none of which is coupled to any variables so the last one is the spring so we'll go ahead and add a spring again here you can change different uh, the, the, the start position the in position the number of turns of the spring to change the representation and also you can change the the spring thickness and uh, you can change these parameters and see how it would affect your spring but the most important one is uh, you have to set the initial position in this case the fixed object itself and the end uh, point of the spring and in our model we want it to be attached to the position of the mass so i'll go ahead and couple the parameter x which is the position of the mass with the end of the spring so once you are done you can click ok and then you can go ahead and see what your simulation looks looks like for example in this case uh yeah 
looks okay, but the the mass is not yet coupled with position of the mass, the spring. So what we will do is the last one couple the position of the sphere with the position of the mass. So we'll go ahead and change, uh, uh, couple it with the position of the mass. And then now we have it. Now we have everything in order. So to see the result, you can replay your animation. We can see that the mass hangs down and then it settles to a position when the uh, force from the spring balance out with the weight from the mass. So uh, you can imagine how this feature uh, uh, is very important when it comes to a more complex dynamic systems. Thank you.